is how to get Swift running on Linux. Now I've gone to the Lutris website, lutris.net, and I've just copied and pasted um, the first installation uh, step, and that's to add the repository. You saw it highlighted, and now I'm uh, just looking to see what to do next. sudo apt update is the next step, uh, and then sudo apt install Lutris, and that's it done. Um, You'll see my mouse circle around the commands you need to type in the terminal uh, just in a second. There we go. And you just copy and paste them into your terminal and press enter. Now it's installing whilst that it's doing that. I'm just going to search for Zwift on the Lutris website and you can see installation instructions there. Now they're not complete. Um, there is a, an extra step you need to do and uh, that's what this video is for. I'm just going to close the terminal there because that's done. Uh, hit the super key and search for Lutris and add it to your favorites then click it. And here it goes. It starts up and uh, you click on Lutris and start and search for Swift click there and then click install and uh, there are some installation instructions if you click them you get a nice orange Zwift color and uh, I'll just scroll back up and click install and just install it to that directory as prompted you get the option to cache the files for later but uh, I'm not sure it's worth it uh, just continue with the download and it will ask you to install mono for for wine and uh, just install that click yes and then install now it's installing and the Zwift setup comes up you click next accept the agreement next uh, now there's the Windows folder structure you can see there just click next install install and it can't find the .NET framework uh, or can't start it. Don't bother looking at information about that info uh, issue. It'll just uh, open up a window in your browser. No point in doing that. Um, just wait for it to keep installing. And uh, Zwift Setup will come and say it's finished. Don't press anything yet. It asks you to install Wine Gecko. Click Install. And you'll see on the Swift Launcher now you'll be able to see it updating. So don't close this window yet. Wait for it to update. And this will take, it took me about three minutes for it to update. It may be faster or slower depending on your internet connection. So wait for it to update before closing the launcher window. So it's applying the update now and now I can close the launcher window. So once the launcher window is closed, you can click finish on the Zwift setup and you can create a desktop sort shortcut and create an application menu sort shortcut. And then click close, don't click launch. Uh, there are a few things you need to do. You need to right click in the wine system tray and exit the launcher and then just click Swift again so that you can see it update. Now you've got the option to play. Don't do that yet. Click the up arrow and click configure and then uh, choose game options. Then choose the executable uh, as run process time 64. So save that. And then you want to uh, click the up arrow next to the wine symbol and choose run exe uh, in wine prefix and uh, drill down in the folders uh, in program files times 86 and then Swift to swiftlauncher.exe. Now you're ready to play. And Swift Launcher comes up. And then the login screen could, should come up. Um, I think uh, I've just paused this because I'm not sure um, whether I've pressed play or not here. And I'm just wondering. So uh, <laughs> I think what I do is I click again on the um, Lutris so it's not greyed out and then I click play again and here it should work here Zwift's coming up now I've got the um, my uh, Linux um, command bar up on the left you can choose auto hide that there's the login screen by the way and the pairing screen uh, you can choose to auto hide that to get it to be full screen and you can see Zwift runs just normally um, here we go, we're just going to choose a root in Yorkshire 
and just going to ride and uh, it's going to work at 60 frames a second you can find that out with zwiftalyzer.com you just drag your log file there um, all the files are in the same as a windows folder structure so you just need to look in your home folder on linux games then swift and then it will say drive c and just drill down that program files times 86 and uh, you'll find the Zwift installation files uh, for your um, Swift prefs file. Uh, you need to come out of the program files and just go to uh, users, your name, and then Zwift folder, and you'll find Swift prefs, and you can world hack using that. Anyway, there you are, 60 frames a second. Um, I don't know if that's capped or not. I haven't looked at the NVIDIA driver. Um, perfect. Uh, Last thing, why would you want to do this? Well, it works well on Linux. Linux is going to, you know, with the advent of Windows 11, I'm sure Linux is going to to explode in popularity because not all computers support Windows 11. Um, and uh, just a, a great little thing to run without Windows or Mac OS or Android or iOS or whatever. Um, if you want other um, training apps to be compatible with Linux just give the developers a little email a little jog and uh, maybe they'll help um, and see if my favorite RGT will do it as well anyway thanks for listening don't forget to subscribe